Okay. Here we go. I think I got it. I think I finally figured it out. <laughs> I think we're good. <laughs> All right. Boy, that was a fun five minutes. I'll never get back in my entire life. And I'm sure you guys will neither. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, all right, it's good. So let's start all this over again. Hi, everyone. I'm meteorologist Aaron Tuttle with you. And now that the gremlins are gone, we continue on with the weather. It's sunny out there. Um, temperature of 96 degrees here in my backyard. So we are only 3.9 degrees away from seeing the century mark. Will we hit that number today? That is the million dollar question. And then what's going to happen after today? Some big changes coming our way for the weekend. So hopefully you're ready for that. I know I am, that's for sure. All right, so now let's move on to the actual other maps I've got here for you. So we do have, of course, a strong south southwest wind today across the state, especially across the western half, gust up to around 30 miles per hour. Anytime you get a southwest wind here across central and western Oklahoma, you heat things up. And so that's exactly what's happening so far. Matter of fact, Kingfisher is already at 100 degrees. It's close to 100 down around Duncan Point southward, also southwest Oklahoma and the northwest Oklahoma. Keep in mind, we do have a drought out there that's been slowly rebuilding. So the next update here in a few days will probably have a lot more red on the map just because we haven't had any significant rainfall. Now, where it has rained over the last, uh, let's just say, couple of days, it's gotten really lucky. And I do mean really lucky. Uh, if you look way up there in northwest Oklahoma in these little, little spots, uh, let's see, let's do this guy here. These little spots here, 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 these are all little isolated showers. Um, down here, down here. So that's what I'm saying. It's it's few and far between. I mean, if you're if you get one, you're extremely lucky. Up here in Kansas, in, in northern uh, western uh, Oklahoma, they had the best opportunity to see more of those little isolated showers and storms over the last couple of days. And really, that's going to be the focus again for tomorrow as well. Heat index uh, or heat safety tips here for today and tomorrow, because again, we'll be in the hundreds. Uh, limit outdoor activities. Make sure you drink lots of water, lightweight clothing, sunscreen. Definitely don't leave pets in park vehicles. That is a big no-no. Okay, so if you look at the temperatures for today, for 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, look at that. Already seeing 100 degrees here across Oklahoma City metro area and points up to the north and west. Um, we got readings all the way down here into 100 plus. So a very hot day across the western half of the state. Enid topping in around 104. Uh, Tulsa and far eastern Oklahoma, you still have more moisture in your area, which helps to prevent seeing the century mark, but you're still going to feel like it with the heat index out there this afternoon. Now, as we head into Saturday, look what happens. 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Enid's back up to around 104. We're about 101 here in Ponca City, Stillwater, Oklahoma City, and Lawton. Um, so it stays pretty hot. There's 5 o'clock and there's 6 o'clock. So we're going to be in the hundreds for Saturday. It's going to be a miserable, brutal day. Then, Watch what happens as we head into, oops, I jumped way too fast. Am I on the right deal? Hold on. Oh, yeah, we can do this one. So uh, let's go to Saturday evening to Sunday. All right, so Sunday afternoon, look what happens here. You see those numbers? Oops. Um, that was 70s to 80s. So we're actually in the 70s and 80s on Sunday. So that is a huge difference across the state. Um, on Sunday. So that is a big change in our weather and that is thanks to a pretty strong cold front coming in. Now the reason why we're not going to get much rain with it, and at least that's why we're getting a little bit of a pattern change is in the upper levels of the atmosphere. This is the gesturing pattern at 500 millibars. So where you see this little circle, the little black circle right here, uh, let's see, I'll highlight this for you. So this is our upper ridge of high pressure and air flows clockwise around a high in the upper levels of the atmosphere. All right, so it's kind of like this, like a little block. So this little block is gonna shift from Southwest Arkansas, this direction, into Eastern New Mexico over the next couple of days. As that does so, that will allow, remember air flows are on the high, right? So that's gonna press us into kind of a Northwest flow. And that's what allows that front to come on really good and can sometimes bring this little um, energy you see out here to the west. Um, this, these little colors that will ride up over the top and produce some rainfall. And they're going to be kind of focused up here into northwest Oklahoma, which is why, again, there's a better shot of precipitation with all that. And so that's that's the big reason there. So if I put this into motion, um, we'll go through here Saturday. See how the, the little circle spots kind of move to the west a little bit. And we'll go into Sunday morning. And then let's go to Sunday evening. And then we'll just go ahead and zip on into Monday afternoon right there. Okay, so here's where it stops. So 
again, the high is kind of centered out in this region. And then now everything kind of rotates in this direction around it. And that allows this energy here to kind of zip through Kansas and the far northern counties of Oklahoma. So that's really, in the summertime, that's all you can really hope for sometimes. Once this ridge gets established, um, you know, you're looking at minute details to try to find some hope, you know, in the pattern just to change something. But we do have that strong front coming. So let's take a look at how the winds ought to respond. So again, today, a good strong south-southwest wind across the state. And then here is the wind shift line as we head into Saturday morning. It's up there in northwest Oklahoma. Uh, so probably pressing right about through Woodward at lunchtime, about one o'clock. Uh, we still got a southwest wind here in central Oklahoma. So that again means the heat. And there's that big wave, that blue color represents stronger winds behind it up around 20 to 30 miles per hour. And there's six o'clock, all right? And there's seven o'clock. So the front does come knocking on the door here in Oklahoma City around seven o'clock. But what happens when that front arrives? Like what's, what's the atmosphere look like at that point? Bone dry, all right? Bone dry. You see this big depression here? This is the temperature profile going up in the atmosphere. This is the dew point going up in the atmosphere. It is really dry up here in the mid-levels, which is a damaging wind signature, by the way. And this is a, you're not getting any storms going, period, signature. This dew point depression from the temperature is too, too vast. It's almost 50 degrees difference. Um, so in other words, you can't get any storms really to develop. It would have to be extremely high base, and they're, they're so high base that they're it's not going to happen here in Oklahoma City. Now, up in northwest Oklahoma, things will be a little bit different up there. But for here, this is why the front comes in dry. Uh, we're just not going to have it. If you read my blog on Sunday, we talked about this as that outcome. So there's your forecast, you know, from oh, seven, six days away coming to fruition. So when I put those blogs out there to cover the entire week, um, I give you sometimes these little details as to what we can look for, and that's one of them. All right, so that'll those uh, north winds will kind of zip on through here for Saturday evening. So Saturday evening is going to feel great to you, by the way. And then on Sunday, of course, feeling really good with a good strong south wind. Uh, the winds, um, these are sustained winds up around 20 to 30 miles per hour, which means there are probably a few gusts higher than that. Um, so it'll be a very uh, windy day here on Sunday, but boy, it's going to feel good, right? All right, so that's that's one of the aspects of the front coming in. The other is the moisture, right? The dew point values. So let's take a look at, you know what? I think, yeah, let's just do the, um, let's do dew points. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, and let's put the numbers up. All right. So, you know, if we get dew point values in the 60s, it starts to feel pretty humid out there. If it's in the 70s, it gets gross, all right? So we've got the grossness here, I-35 corridor running north to south, um, which is right here on the map. So really gross, eastern half of the state. Of course, the western half is usually drier. You guys are also hotter. Um, so that's kind of the reason for that. All right, so what happens is the dew point values um, start to change okay so it's still pretty humid for tonight obviously and then tomorrow except for the western half of the state with the southwest wind now here comes this little pool of dew points right here along the cold front so there's always going to be a little dew, dew, dew point pooling along a frontal boundary now as that front pushes in look how it shoves all that moisture to the south and then look what happens by the time we head into sunday um, evening Dew point values are in the mid 40s here across central, northern, western Oklahoma. It is going to feel so nice out there. It's almost going to feel like Colorado weather or something. Uh, I think you're really going to like it. Okay, so that was something else I want to talk about. Rainfall wise, remember, kind of disappointed you here in Oklahoma City, but let's see what else happens. So let's go to Saturday. By the way, today, uh, uh, maybe a freak pop up shower somewhere. And I do mean somewhere because the models, you know, they got one here and they got one here and one up there. And that's it. So not a big day again for rain. Uh, let's go to Saturday. Okay. So there's Saturday. There's a little bit of a hint, you know, Saturday afternoon of some storm activity up there across northern parts of the state, northern counties, uh, out there in the panhandle of Texas. There's seven o'clock uh, northern Bartlesville and southeastern Kansas. So you guys have a better opportunity of seeing at least a couple of storms. Whereas the rest of the state, not really. And then uh, nighttime stuff, that front continues to come down to the south. Models try to trigger a few showers with it, but I think it'll be hard pressed to do so, but that's in the data. And then northwest Oklahoma uh, in the panhandle, much better. And the Kansas, with that upper energy we showed you on the jet stream map. So you have to look at each one of these little uh, ingredients to try to find some rainfall for you. And then there's Sunday morning, 5 a.m., so some good rain up there across the border. Uh, the rest of the state, there's some hints at some spotty isolated showers on Sunday morning. 
um, into the early part of the afternoon. And there's a little band right there. So it's possible, theoretically possible, we could get a few scattered showers on Sunday off and on. Very tiny, uh, very hit and miss, um, along with the cooler air and the strong wind. Another viewpoint of the rain, of the, a different model, uh, again, shows mainly activity across northwest Oklahoma, Kansas, there we go, and a couple of spotty showers here um, by Sunday morning and maybe early Sunday afternoon. So again, it's not a big rain maker, but it is a cool temperature maker. Speaking of which, here's a look at that big blast of cold air. If you look at uh, temperatures that are running either above or below normal, and if you look here, that big blue and purple, that's all below normal. And that's moving right here in Oklahoma over the weekend for Sunday on into Monday. Um, so we could stay below normal for a little bit, uh, which is nice. Another little cold batch moves there across Canada. And then let's see, we hang in there until about Wednesday. And then we start to finally creep back up to just above normal a little bit. And by the time we head to Thursday and Friday, uh, unfortunately, our little brief cool down is over with. And we're back into the heat with the temperatures a few degrees above normal, which is about where they are now. And there's some other cooler air, pooling, uh, cooler air pulling up here, trying to make a run for Oklahoma by July 4th. We'll see if it makes it. But right now, that's the look at the model data. So here's a look at your numbers here for Oklahoma City. Uh, again, about uh, 100 degrees today and about 101 tomorrow. Sunday will be in the uh, 70s and 80s. Same thing on Monday and Tuesday looking really nice as well. Wednesday, this should still be pretty nice because we'll still have some dry air in place. So it'll start to get pretty warm for you. And then after that, we're kind of back to where we are normally speaking. And then maybe a few degrees above because normally we should be holding right around 90 degrees by the time we hit this time of the year at the end of June. So we are just a few degrees above normal uh, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday uh, on into July 4th. And then we'll see if a front comes in here at some point um, at that period of time or therefore or they're on um, a little too early to get too specific about that but there you go so there you have it um, that was your long-winded Facebook live for lunch <laughs> minus the issues there at the beginning so thanks for hanging in there if you did and I uh, hope you have a great weekend I hope I give you everything you needed to know again you can always get my weather app to fill in the blanks called AT's weather to go meanwhile um, I will see you again here soon so thanks for watching checking in and enjoy the rest of your afternoon stay cool and say all that sun if you can and we'll talk soon take care